Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, superstar, who do you think you are what you are? The most philosophical musical of all time. Or I'm hearing the lyrics wrong. Mm, bear spray. Hey guys, it is Monday here on Daily Grace, and there's no rhyme, reason, or theme, or anything. There's absolutely no reason we should be here together. Actually, there's no song that explains why we should be hanging out. Every other day of the week is justified because of a, a ditty, and this has no ditty. Monday is the P without the ditty. I went on my Tumblr and I asked you guys, what should we, what do you, like, how do you, what do you talk about with each other? And someone said, wedding dresses. And some of you that follow me on Instagram, Grace Elbing on Instagram, saw that I posted a picture of wedding dresses today and so many of you went, ah! Because you thought I was getting married. You. I went with a friend who is getting married to try on wedding dresses today and it was my first, first, first time ever being with another female trying on wedding dresses, ever being with another human being trying on wedding dresses, absent of living vicariously through that friend's episode where they all tried on wedding dresses in their apartment. Oh, friends succeeded because it's so relatable. So I had an experience today where I went with a friend to try on wedding dresses for the first time along with other friends and I observed and learned a lot. I have learned a lot today and that's what I want to share with you. First of all, why white? I guess, uh, so did it come from the fact that you got married when you were a virgin and that white meant that you were pure and clean and that you married this person and you wanted to represent the fact that you're pure and clean? Why does the man always wear white thing also? All wedding dresses look like cupcakes. Why eat frosting when you can wear frosting? So much tool. They should open up a bridal department at Lowe's because those dresses have so much tool. Here's the thing that happened and tell me if this is relatable to you in any way. I watched Say Yes to the Dress. I watched the fuck out of Say Yes to the Dress. I know what they're doing. I've seen Kleinfeld. I know Randy. Bridal consultants have the weirdest job in the entire world because they will be your best friend. But your best friend that wants to make shit out of money. They'll be like, oh, what's your price range? $2,000? Great. I have a dress that's my favorite. I just want you to try on. You love it. Surprise, it's $6,000. My advice to you guys going bridal dress shopping is that you tell that consultant, you give her a price range that's at least $1,500 below your actual price range. Just see. Best part about the whole experience, there were bonbons in the lobby. Just an open box of bonbons that we could help ourselves to if ever the time arose. I don't know how long they've been there. I did not want to touch them. I appreciated the sentiment, made me feel like I was a woman. Someone offering me bonbons makes me go, ooh. I'm a lady. Thank you. Also, there are only so many adjectives you can have for a dress. <laughs> After a certain point, you would need to stop talking about the dress. My friend today was super amazing at being like, here's a dress, what do you think of it? Great, I'm gonna go try something else on. But I've watched Say Yes to the Dress so many times, you can only say that is sleek and chic and flattering and shows off your shoulders and is demure and classic and vintage and lace whoa and uh meow ah mm, uh, uh, ah tablescapes. After that, you need to try on another fucking dress. Here is the best advice of all time that I can give to everyone forever: try on wedding dresses should be a drink sandwich. Drink before you go try on wedding dresses. Drink immediately after you try on wedding dresses. And it will be great. Drink in the middle of it if you want to. 
who gives a fuck? As long as we have bonbons in the lobby that look like they've been sitting there for five years, you are all good. Bye. Uh, someone posted a chart that says everything goes good with bacon. Don't you want somebody to love? I guess. Don't you need somebody to love? I'm pretty good independent. Wouldn't you love somebody to love? I don't know. You better find somebody to love. Okay. I'm okay.